This episode is brought to you by Levitt Pavilion. If you somehow haven't made it to a show at Levitt, I can't recommend it highly enough. It's my favorite place to watch live music outside in Denver, bar none. And it's the spot for free, all ages concerts in beautiful Ruby Hill Park, which is just 10 minutes from downtown. The next free show is Heartless Bastards on August 4th, but there's a ton of great acts coming through. Like on August 10th, Levitt is hosting the All My Relations Celebration, which is a festival showcasing indigenous art from different tribes and diverse genres. You can see Levitt Pavilion's whole summer lineup and get your tickets at levittdenver.org. That's L-E-V-I-T-T, denver.org. Today on CityCast Denver. Every morning in our newsletter, Hey Denver, we share recommendations of cool things to do around the city. But we wanted to take that one step further and give you some lead time to plan your month. So today on the podcast, we're sharing our best bets for the whole month of August. But don't miss those daily event listings. You can subscribe to Hey Denver right now by texting Denver to 66866. Today is Thursday, August 3rd. I'm Bree Davies, and here's what Denver's talking about. Well, hi. Good morning, everyone. I'm producer Paul Caroli. I'm joined today by our host, Bree Davies. Hi. Our newsletter editor and resident foodie, Peyton Garcia. Hey, everyone. And our producer, Olivia Jewell Love. Hey, Paul. And we're doing something new today because we all had so much fun and got so much nice feedback from you all on our episode uh, six weeks or so ago now where we picked our our picks for the best summer events. Um, And we thought we should do this every month. Yeah, I mean, I think we all get excited about stuff that's happening in and around the city and having a space to share it with our listeners. Like, here's a cool thing. Here's all the deets. And here's why we think you should go. I think it's like, I don't know. It's something I'm always dying to do. (laughs) I'm always telling you guys and you're like, I don't care about that weird thing. But maybe some of our (laughs) listeners will care about my weird things. I think they will. I think they will. So uh, before we get into it, um, we do have some ridiculously complicated rules. Uh, So we're going to do this in the style of what I call a super maybe. Uh, It's going to be a mini tournament of events. And eventually we're going to pick our one event, our one main recommendation. Our one maybe for August. Yes. The maybe for August, the thing you'll be most likely to see us at. Um, it's the style of our official CityCast Denver maybe for your weekend, which you'll hear at the end of every Friday show. Um, so we got two groups of four events. Bree has brought four events. We're going to pick one and then Peyton picked four events. And we're going to pick one of those. And then at the end, mano a mano, evento a evento showdown. Bree, how about you? Let's start with yours. Sure. So I picked an event uh, Saturday, August 5th from 5 to 8 p.m. It's called The Listening Lawn. And it's at Carpio Sanguinette Park in Globeville, which is an old sewage treatment plant. This is going to sound real I'm, awesome. I'm hooked. It was, on Alice, <laughs> it was on Alice Obscura when I Googled where it was. And then I saw the pictures and I was like, oh, this is the graffiti park. So this is, a, it was a treatment plant. It's been dismantled since the 60s, I think. But a lot of its infrastructure is still left, like some walls and things. And graffiti artists have been painting there for years. It's like a semi, what's called a legal wall. So there's legal walls where you can officially paint. And it's, I don't know if it's officially one, but it's definitely like, if you want to go look at some cool graffiti it's a great spot. But the listening lawn itself is a daytime sort of noise ambient um, electronic music show. And huh. so it's a showcase from this record label called Multi Dim Records out of Denver. They're amazing. And they just put out um, small independent artists that do different kinds of electronic music. And I mean, a lot of my friends are playing. That's why I'm definitely recommending this. My friend in Trancer, my friend H Light, this new artist, Kelly Garlic, who I want to check out. But why I'm recommending it to folks is it's during the, it's from five to eight. So it's during the daytime. So if you're a person that's like, oh, I always want to go to that weird warehouse show, but it's in the, it's at midnight. <laughs> this is the option to do <laughs> I hear it's this from a, people where they're like, music for old people. Yeah, well, or ki- if you have kids, <laughs> wow. if you want to bring your kids, kids love with you, ambient like, noise. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. said they do actually. You said really? noise. Oh, yeah. You said noise. Can you elaborate? So noise is like a really wide genre, but it's like things that pe- a lot of folks don't consider, quote unquote, 
music because it's not like necessarily melody driven. There's not necessarily a structure. Sometimes it includes non-traditional instrumentation. You know, someone banging oh, on a man. trash can. I don't know. I'm doing a very bad job of You've selling it. You've lost me so hard on this. One I know. Okay, I'm, I'm intrigued though because I just, I am, I'm a big white noise girly. I if you ever, oh. if you ever come into my apartment, there's at least like four things making noise intentionally. Okay, I need it. Imagine you're a noise artist. You brought all of those things and you push them on and off individually that's a performance you might see yeah, at that's a show like, like me this. with my my air conditioner that's way older than i am and i'm just like turning it on and off trying to make my energy bill go down i have never felt so old or out of touch. <laughs> you have a baby yeah. don't tell me you don't have a noise machine well, i'm trying to make this accessible to people like you pay because it's during the day and it's take your park. baby your you, baby would you love asked this me as soon as I, you said electronic no your baby would love this <laughs> anything electronic it. is just like i'm um, I know me, it's a wide me. it's such a wide swath of types of music but if you're looking for a different listening experience a different kind of a concert mm -hmm. this is a great intro to that I like and it. it's okay. all ages so you can bring your kids and you can sit in the park and listen to some weirdos I'm make noise I'm into this I'm into this this is so Ooh. odd all right so then we got one here what, what else you got Brie second event might be a little more accessible to you regular folks <laughs> I'm you, trying. <laughs> this is my place to you talk about my folk. weird stuff. All right, this what is you got? not weird. It's called Hip Hop Till Infinity. Um, it's on Friday, August 11th from 6 p.m. on at the Banshee House at 27th and Larimer. It is free, but you must RSVP. It's a celebration of 50 years of hip hop. This massive movement that began in the Bronx in the 70s, which has influenced. When you hear newscasters say back in the day understand that that came from hip hop. Like that's how influential that phrase it is. came from hip hop. Absolutely. Um, it's put on by they shootin, which is a collective of photographers who I love and they photograph, um, this intersection of music, art, and culture around the city. And they've been putting on amazing, they put on amazing events a while back. They took a break. This is their big event coming back. Um, great music, KDJ Above, DJ Lazy Eyes, and more. Um, but And also a photography exhibit of live music, not just lo not photographs of just local artists, but like national artists that have come through. Um, and I just have to say, a really good party is put on by people that know how to put on good parties. Yeah. You've been to a bad party. I will tell you, a they shooting <laughs> party is always a good party. It is 21 and up, but um, I think if you just want to, also if you want to meet some other cool like-minded people and you want to get a little bit more, um, if you want to get a closer look at our photography scene and hip hop artists here in Denver, this is a great place to do it. And I just, I just have to say, this is going to be one of those, you wish you were there kind of end of the summer big parties. Hip hop party, photography. Yeah, I'm Sounds into like that. a bunch of cool people good. are going to be there. Honestly, it's going to be one of those CNBC parties. Yeah. Like I always see the best dressed people at they shoot in parties. It's yeah, it seems like I could go and get a lot of outfit inspo. Absolutely. Mm. And you'll meet some really cool people. Yeah. I always run into other artists there. It's one of those events that attracts really cool people. So cool. it's called Hip Hop Till Infinity. All right, Brie, let's hear number three. Sure. Uh, Sunday, August 20th at 4 p.m. The Globeville Neighborhood Bike Ride. So this is free. Sign up is required. There's a max uh, 20 riders per per event, but um, it's put on by Bike Streets and they do various tours each month. This one in particular is just throughout the Globeville neighborhood to learn more about it. Um, what I love about this ride is it's put on by Bike Streets, Rhino Art District and Birdseed Collective help put it together. And Birdseed Collective does a lot of art, music, dance, athletic and cultural programming for free or low cost in the Globeville area. But um, it's a it's a it's an eight to 15 mile ride, but it's at a slow and steady pace. It's for any age and any uh, level or ability of rider. So if you want to get a little bit more comfortable on your bike which is something I always recommend, ride with other people to get comfortable in the street, and you want to learn more about Globeville, the neighborhood history, this is a really awesome way to do it. This uh, this does sound really cool, but you said it's pretty, it's pretty limited? It is. It's only 20 riders, but like I said, they do different ones throughout the month. So Could you just be on your bike and happen to be <laughs> riding Ride the bandit. same route that they're riding. You're riding bandit I'm behind. Your head's at, 10 <laughs> feet behind. <laughs> what I'm guessing is the limited amount of riders is to make sure everybody can stay together and that you can hear the person that's probably yeah, doing so something. Maybe I'm just, just nearby on my but bike. But what if we got one of those like bicycles with the four seats on it? <gasps> 
I'm saying this is cool. A, and we did a city cast four seat bicycle this ride. Is, I'm saying this is so cool that if we made this our August mm. maybe, we would be taking up four spots, you guys. That's why I was no. trying to give more options if we through just, bike streets. <laughs> if we just have one bicycle with four seats. Ooh, does that's, it? Yes. Does it count as one bike? That's just one bike. It's true. That's one bike. <sighs> well, if you're... Or you could get one of those. I'm sure. Do you have one of those things for Montgomery that you pull behind you? No. Oh, well, I was okay. going to say we could ride in it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, a historical neighborhood tour bike ride. That sounds pretty fun. Yeah. I like um, that. What's your fourth event pick, Brie? Fifth annual La Raza Park Day. Mm. So La Raza Park uh, recently became like officially recognized as the park it is, which is a epicenter for the Chicano community, epicenter for the Chicano movement and ongoing Chicano civil rights um, issues. It's a really cool celebration of the lowrider community. Um, there's a lot of lowrider car clubs in Denver. They'll, they get together, they show off their cars here. Um, uh, lowrider, um, car clubs also do a lot of work within the community throughout the year. They do toy drives and all kinds of things. So I just think it's really cool if you're not part of that community directly to go check out what they do. Um, there'll be vendors there selling art and all kinds of things. Um, the Latin soul party DJs from Kuva will be there. And if you have ever listened to Latin soul party on Friday nights, it's, awesome so they'll be there live they're gonna have lucha libre wrestlers and it's just a great time to celebrate sort of the north side and get to know know the history of the north side community even if you're not a part of it or if you're new to the city that sounds like that also sounds like wrestlers the low riders were all of your events free um yes Wow. Budget right. queen points for Brie. I want people to, yeah, you know, we love well, like some of them. You can just pop in and pop out, check it out, go do mm-hmm, something mm-hmm. else. Love a budget option. Okay. And this one's also family friendly. It's all ages welcome, and it starts at one p.m. So it's that also accessible fun. for a lot of people. That sounds really fun. Hmm. I think what I'm uh, excited about with La Raza Park Day is that I just saw Desert Rider. I know we've talked about that art exhibit at the dam a lot lately. Yeah. And my one critique of the exhibit is not enough low riders mm, and I want to see the spot. them. Awesome. That's four really good options. There's the the noise show in the former industrial area. In the former <laughs> that's sewage the signature. Plant. That's okay. the signature Brie Davies I event know, for you. I know that it's Paul is like appalled, but I don't know why Olivia, I'm so drawn want, to this. I want you to it's come. Like, hooks in, I'm yeah. so You're drawn. newer to the city. Like, I'm so drawn to the like noise. I okay, don't so know. do we need to agree? Paul? We need to agree on <laughs> one of these four. We got, we got the noise show. We got the hip hop photography party, Globeville bike ride, and La Raza Park Day. How do are I, we can I just shout my vote? Absolutely. Mine's La Raza Park. Only because, as I mentioned, I think I can participate in the bike ride without <laughs> signing up for the bike ride. I don't ride. want to go on the bike ride unless I'm riding in somebody's like little wagon. <laughs> the behind. bike ride sounds awesome. I'm just going to leave some space for other people. I don't want to ride. I don't it, like so my vote's La Raza riding Park. Riding a bike hurts my but so unless someone's dragging me behind i'm not doing it but i like all the i actually like all of them but i could be persuaded for Loraza park what about the hip-hop party that one that was the one that got me most excited when we were talking really about it Bri. About that, that one, one sounds so cool like i think i'm oh, definitely gonna guys, go to that one it's put on by blake jackson who did our photo- our photograph yes. yes we did our headshots yes he and his Love partner Blake. and they shoot and Armando Gennaro do these. I promise you, if I you want to hang out I've, with Blake, which you probably did after we got photos taken with him, you get to go to a party. He's yeah, created. I figured he was going to be involved. I'm like, he just seems like a cool type of guy He's that's going to be top badass. No, no. I mean, La Rosa sure, Park you sounds guys could really drag me there. The hip hop is the one for me, too. I think that's <laughs> three on, of Peyton, us. Right. We got to get you out of your comfort zone, Peyton. It's it's hot hip hop summer. Oh God! You guys know I have no taste in music, but if there's gonna be food there, there'll be I'll photography. Go. I'm sure there'll be food. Food trucks. Right. I'll go for food and for Blake. So that's that's our pick from Bree's first four. We're gonna take Hip-hop a quick till break, infinity. Okay. and then we're gonna come back, and Peyton's gonna give us four more. This episode is brought to you by the American Museum of Western Art. This Wednesday, August 2nd, from 3 to 4 p.m., the American Museum of Western Art will host Pioneer Music of the Mountain West, presented by Swallow Hill. Waves of explorers and settlers all contributed to the Mountain West's musical heritage, including various acoustic and folk traditions. During this performance, musicians will share songs of mountain men, ranchers, miners, and farmers, and you'll even get a chance to play period-relevant instruments. Tickets are just $10 and can be purchased online at Anschutz 
sportscollection.org or at the door. All right, and we're back. Time for the back half of our super maybe we'll be there for August. Peyton, it's your turn. Hit us with your first event. Okay, first one. The Meow Wolf Monster Battle. <gasps> oh, yeah. We talked about this. Yeah, so this is taking place at Cheeseman Park, Thursday, August 10th, 4 to 9 p.m. It is all ages, and it's free, which is are two really compelling things for this event. Um, and what it is is you are, people are encouraged to show up and dress in costume as your favorite monster or mutant or whatever your heart desires and so um cool. it's like larp <laughs> inspired so you just go it's literally just an excuse to like get all decked out dress like a monster and then have a dance battle with other I love it monster <laughs> Wait, it's a dance people. battle it's a they dance, didn't say dance battle they just said battle it's a battle of the dancing oh my and God. there's gonna be i think i think there's gonna be a costume contest component um if you're super excited about making your costume or you want a little bit of help, they're also, Meow Wolf is ho- hosting a costume workshop on August 5th from 2 to 5 p.m. for only $7. And you'll have, um, you can have somebody help you make your make your costume. You can find some inspiration. Um, performers include DJ Black Girl, Mental, and Milk. I don't know any of those people, but. Cool. They sound like statement artists. Just by this the sounds names. super fun. I love it because the interpretation of monster is so wide. It's yeah. not like mm-hmm. dresses your hyper specific Marvel universe, whatever. Blah like blah blah. blah. It's like well, monster. Yeah, monster. anything you yeah. want that to be. So and apparently it's um. So this is an event that the New Mexico Meow Wolf does, and it's oh. their most popular event. So they are now exporting it over here to Denver. Oh, um, cool. And if you look at the photos from previous parties at the New Mexico one. It looks so cool. Are People get decked. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll I check it out. love thinking about the person just walking through Cheeseman Park that day. Who just was like walking like their dog. Big monster yeah. battle Scared. happening. Their dog's yeah. like, take me home now. Like, there's like nothing to it except you're going to be dressed up and dancing, which sounds so cool. I'm excited to see the dance battle. Hmm. All right, Peyton, that one sounds pretty good. What else you got? Okay, next one um, is the second ever Elevation. That's E L E V Asian A S I A N twenty twenty three night market fundraiser. Cool. So this is put on oh. by Asian Girls Ignite. It's a local nonprofit that offers educational programming for young Asian girls, and this is a fundraiser for them. It's going to be hosted on the Auraria campus Saturday, August nineteenth, from four to ten p.m. Um, you do have to pay to get in. It's sixty-five dollars for general admission. You could buy a premium access ticket for one hundred and thirty dollars, and kids are twenty-five dollars. So a little pricey, but. It raises money for a good cause, and a ticket gets you um, five food samples, access hmm. to the marketplace, and live entertainment, and a one-year subscription to 5280 Magazine. Um, so what this is, is it's going to be all food vendors and businesses that are women-led AAPI, so Asian American Pacific Islander businesses and vendors. Um, so it's just a great way to support that community. And upgrading to the premium access ticket gets you access to a VIP pairing lounge and an exclusive swag bag. Ooh, swag that's bag. fun. Where is this one again? On the Auraria campus. Oh, Ooh. neat. That yeah. could be great. Buses I mean, go I'm there, sure plenty of parking. I mean, it's a good, yeah. it's right in the middle of the city. Yeah, get to know your local AAPI businesses. Cool. Yeah. Support them. I need a VIP pass. I want that yeah. swag bag. You do, swag bag. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what you want. Me. Good. <laughs> um, all right, Peyton, what do you got? What's number three? Okay, so... Number three is Summer Scream at Lakeside. Oh, yeah. This Mm, is Thursday, August 24th, 6 to 11 p.m. 21 and up only. Uh, Tickets with tax are $69.37. This is a fundraiser for Denver Film. Um, The party includes an open bar, unlimited rides, and quote-unquote immersive experiences. Pictures also show things like a silent disco, live entertainment, and alcoholic beverages. <laughs> yes, they do have bars. At Lakeside? I've never... Just for this. Is that cool? It is yeah. a private party, right? So they close it down so yes. that the amusement park isn't open to the general public. Huh. It's only open to the people who bought tickets to this event. And it's adult only. I think that's the big selling point yeah. to me. Is like if you're a person that wants to go check it out and be in a kid-free environment, this is like oh. the time to yeah, do it. Yeah, like the adult that night at the sense. zoo or whatever. Kind of, yeah. 
And I like that. So I was kind of curious what they meant by immersive experiences. And this is what they say on their website. It says, what if you were to step back into the 1990s for a night? You might see the log lady from Twin Peaks or a pro wrestling match. <laughs> you might play Pogs, rent a video from Blockbuster, or choose between a red pill or a blue pill. You could find out what was really in the box at the end of seven, get a balloon animal, and listen to Planet Souls set you free. <laughs> It's a 90 immersive yes. 90s experience. Yes, I, it is. If I were to step back into the 90s, <laughs> I would be an infant. <laughs> I would literally be not born. <laughs> Brie, what of what of you what about the 90s would you want to revisit in the form of an immersive experience? Uh the mall. There you go. The mall. I, I mean, they're going to have the mall. Me going the immersive back into part the is whatever to me. It's the fact that I get to go to Lakeside. Yeah. yeah. And support the uh Denver film which is the cool part is it's a fundraiser for our only nonprofit art house in the city. It's pretty cool. Dope. Great reason to go to Lakeside. Love Lakeside. Sounds fun. Yeah. Uh, Peyton, what's number four? Okay. The last one is taking place that same night, Thursday, <laughs> August 24th, same time ish, five to 10 PM at Lakeside's competing, competing amusement park. Oh, no. Eliches. Oh, boy. And You're this, putting Lakeside versus Eliches up head to head? She had yeah, to create same a drama. night and everything. She and this time, tension. it's going to be Chicken Fight, huh. which is a food festival that's put on by my favorite food festival people, Dining Out Events. It is a 21 up and only event. Um, tickets are pricey, but I have gone to this food festival for the last you know, five years and it is so much fun. General admission is $109. First taste is $139, which means you get in an hour early. And VIP is $169, but you get access to all sorts of um, really cool primo VIP tents. Um, it is f over 50 local chefs and restaurants competing head to head for the best chicken dish. So that can be fried chicken, chicken wings, chicken tacos, chicken sandwiches. And then there's unlimited mm. bottomless beverages, live music, and all of it to benefit the Colorado Restaurant Foundation, a local nonprofit supporting culinary students. Is it is the park open too? Are you going? Yes. So same thing as Lakeside. You it can. is closed down to the, um, the public, general public. But you, you can will have a the, ticket. You yeah. can ride the rides after you eat a bunch of chicken. Yeah, that's that part <laughs> a little concerning. But <laughs> Maybe hey. before. Eat yeah. all the Do chicken and I mean, the bottomless beverages and then yeah. hop right on. Sometimes it's about, I mean, honestly, to me, a lot of amusement parks about atmosphere anyway. So totally. you may just go and eat too much chicken, but then like sit and watch people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the rides. Yeah. That's what I would do. What I a like great that. venue for a food festival. Yeah, that was Agreed. really smart. That's planning. a good idea. Agreed. So Natural ambiance right there. We got the Monster Battle at Cheeseman Park from Meow Wolf. We have the Elevation Food Food Fest. Is that would you call it a food it's festival? A, no, it's a night market. A night market. Mm -hmm. Right. Um sc Summer Scream at Lakeside no, and yeah. Denver Film, mm -hmm. a fundraiser, and Chicken Fight at Elish's. Correct. Wow. That's a toughie. I think my heart's with the monster battle yeah. right wow. off the bat. I mean, I'm, a big monster battle costumes in the middle of the park. That's I'm gonna so go nuts. to I'm gonna go to Summer Scream regardless. So I'd like to like bank on a new thing yeah. that I I really want to push myself to about, go to. Which I've been is thinking monster about battle. that monster battle ever since I first heard about it. I just want to see it. I just want to see what it's like. I'm thinking about in Monsters Inc. when Sully and Mike Wazowski dress up Boo as a monster. Yes. And they make her Aww. a costume. Oh my God, some family has to recreate yeah. that with their baby. Oh my gosh, you should. You and <laughs> Willie. Yeah, put Benicio in a Monsters Inc. Mo baby monster costume. Oh my God, that'd be so cute. Yeah, let's do it. All Is right, that how we're feeling? Meow Wolf Monster Battle yeah. at Cheeseman Park? Sure. Yeah, let's go. Okay, well, that leads to, uh, well, our, our very last uh, decision to make here. We have two events. We can only pick one. Hip hop photography. Hip hop till infinity. Hip hop till infinity. Mm -hmm. With photography there. Yes. Which sounds like it's an a absolutely killer party. It's music. It's it's where the movers and shakers it's will be, probably. Pretty much. It's like if you yeah, pretty cool people. That's pretty good. Peyton, do you want to make any last argument for the the monster battle at Cheeseman Park? Well, let's see, it's free, but so is Breeze. It's all ages. Which yeah, mine's is not. not. Unfortunately, mine is a 21 and up event. Also, mm. this one's all about letting your freak flag fly. How often do you get to just let your freak flag fly? 
every day at City Cast like, Denver. I <laughs> do too much. An all ages one is really yeah. hard to beat for me. Mm-hmm. I gotta yeah. say. I again I will be at hip hop till infinity, but I could take my son yeah, too. Yeah, Montgomery wants Monster to go Wars, to the which monster battle. I bet yeah. Greg will want to go. Kids would love that. Meow Wolf's Monster Battle. It's that's our, the one. Our, that it? Our that's best it? Bet that's gonna be it, guys. That was easy to win. See you there, maybe. <laughs> See you there, probably. Can I just make a case for listening lawn is the origins of I'm the meow going. wolves of the okay, world? I'm going. I'm going to the noise. <laughs> well, that was, I tried to be invested. It was I'm too, going to the noise. Hour. I'm going to the noise and I'm going to just record it on my phone and be like, ah, oh, this is my new sleep track. And there you have it. The CityCast Denver best bet for August. Uh, but there's way more events where that came from. We recommend more cool events and great stuff happening around the city every single day in our newsletter, Hey Denver, uh, which you can subscribe to right now by texting Denver to 66866. So if you liked what you heard here, you could get this. Like Paul said, every day of the week, Peyton has recommendations for stuff to do. So sign up for our newsletter. This was fun, y'all. Thanks, guys. Yeah. See you thanks. next time. That's all for today here on CityCast Denver. If you enjoyed this show, why not take a minute to tell Mike Wazowski about us? Rate the show five stars wherever you get your podcasts and subscribe to our morning newsletter, Hey Denver, by texting Denver to 66866. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more news from around the city. See you later. It's like, I don't think we describe it well, but it's like, it's not like you have to like go through sewage tunnels or something.